Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Adit here who's recently got into Honeywell as a, as a core placement through his uh, campus placement and he's here to share his interview experience with us. So this is an easy core placement and let's just look at the eligibility criteria. So all uh, there were many roles as well. So different branches were eligible for different roles. Uh, 10th and 12th, 60% and also in college, 60% or 60 GPA with no standing arrears were eligible. Okay, now let's talk to him. Hi Adit, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, Hi Jishnu, nice to be here. Yeah. So firstly, congratulations on your placement. And could you introduce yourself first? Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot for the congratulations. Uh, so uh, I am a, a EC undergrad student and uh, I had been inclined towards getting into hands-on electronics since I had thought and that is how I decided to, you know, apply and, you know, orient myself towards such companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily, after a few rounds, I managed to get in. So the idea was very simple. You know your basics. You know what you what you want to do. And then, you know, uh, then you focus. And, of course, if things are fine, they'll get into place. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. And now you can tell us about... Uh, the hiring process, like how many rounds are there and what they comprised of? So, uh, the hiring rounds were pretty basic. There were three rounds, uh, one a written test, followed by a technical interview, followed by a HR interview. So, uh, we were given our links and we had to apply for the same. There was some particular CGPA cutoff. I think it was, uh, the bar was set low, but from our college, I think there was, they were increased a little bit. Mm. Then uh, the technical round was uh, relatively very simple, the, the written round. Mm -hmm. uh, it had a uh, mix of aptitude and uh, the su subject core subjects, basically mm -hmm. from uh, the embedded electronics and uh, also the uh, VLSI portion, basically covering analog and digital circuits. Okay. So that was uh, with respect to the written paper. It was unproctored, mm -hmm. but uh, the only uh, criteria was having a good speed. So speed was uh, the criteria of clearing the paper. Mm. After that, uh, students were shortlisted based on the written round, and uh, we had been hosted uh, on certain WhatsApp group, and uh, we were, uh, our uh, interview process was organized. The technical round was uh, fairly holistic. It was uh, around uh, half an hour to forty minutes per head, okay. and uh, it ranged from different topics. So basically, they tried to identify a niche. So, it, uh, electronics being a very broad subject, uh, they weren't very interested, you, you know, like, it was not necessary that you should know everything, mm. but what you think you know, you should be good at that. Okay. So, uh, because many of the electronics hires were also being assigned the computer department, mm -hmm. so that is absolutely based on your particular expertise. Okay. So, uh, after having that particular round of... Uh, technical interview mm. and also they ask you regarding your projects some mm. uh, very uh, detailed discussion on why did you do that mm. what was the insight did you bring so they try to understand like how to approach doing your projects because the job role is pretty much R&D mm. so you will have to do all your thinking for yourself so that is how they try to conduct the interview okay. and they also had certain sort of brainstorming uh, type questions where you know mm -hmm. we both don't know the answer but we try to arrive at something so that was pretty interesting on their part mm -hmm. and uh, after that uh, there were certain uh, short lists from uh, the uh, electronics per se and from other departments also including cyber security specifically mm -hmm. and finally we had a HR round okay. so uh, under HR uh, simple questions were asked because uh, Honeywell being a pretty known company and pretty old 100 plus years old company they fairly expected you to know a little bit about the company mm -hmm. before you know you join them. So yeah. it is necessary for you to do your homework mm -hmm. and also you know talk about your prospects. Just ask certain questions like talk talk you uh, talk us through your journey or tell us about your weaknesses. So you know you should be very smart in handling such questions. Mm -hmm. And then of course after the HR round, mm -hmm. students were uh, hired and uh, there were certain branches in which they are hired and they were hired in two departments. Okay. Honeywell works in basically uh, there's a Honeywell Connected Enterprise mm. and this Honeywell Technology Solutions. Okay. So these are two subsidiaries of Honeywell mm. and based on the requirement, your aptitude and the uh, availability of course, mm. you have been assigned into one of the other two. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
okay. yeah, that's I think about it. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience and congratulations again. So, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Honeywell specifically? Yeah, so uh, Honeywell is uh, fairly a uh, very easy company to crack if you have your basics right. Mm. So, uh, guys, uh, if you are interested in R and D type job, then you know this is a very good place to work because it is completely uh, pressure free. Yet you are uh, making uh, good breakthroughs, and you know you have been given autonomy and huge funding over your projects. Mm. So, uh, if you want to crack Honeywell, I think you have to grab your niche like. Mine was hardware and engineering, and mm. I joined as har- hardware and engineer. Mm. So uh, the uh, the competition is not very fierce, but you know you are only hired not as per vacancy, but only as per your skills. Okay. So try to you know get a good grasp of what you are good at, and then I think uh, everything should be fine. Okay. 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 Thank you again uh, for the suggestions, and thank you for coming here and sharing your experience. Thanks a lot, Jishnu, for calling me.